Hello everyone, so today we're going to make together this beautiful granny square. You only need two colors of your choice and your crochet hook. First we're going to do a slip knot. Then we're going to chain two. One and two. And we're going to work into the first chain. We're going to do an eighth single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we're going to slip stitch into the first single crochet. You should count to have eight stitches. And then you're going to do a slip stitch into the first single crochet. And you're going to pull the tail and this is our first row. Now we're going to chain three and we're going to yarn over and we're going to go into the same stitch and we're going to pull through we're going to pull through one loop then we're going to pull through two loops yarn over again go into the same stitch and now you're going to pull through two loops and now we have three loops on the hook we're going to pull through all three this is in the beginning chain three Go into the next stitch and you're going to do three double crochet cluster. You're going to pull through two loops. Again, go into the same stitch, pull through two loops. One more time into the same stitch, you're going to pull through two loops. And then you're going to pull through all loops. Now we're going to chain three. Go into the next stitch and work three double crochet cluster. Here's the first one. We're going to do another one. Pull through two loops. We're going to do another one. Pull through two loops. And then we're going to pull through all four loops. Again, we're going to chain three. We're going to go into the next stitch and we're going to do again three double crochet cluster. The second one, you're going to pull through two loops. One more. We're going to pull through two loops, then we're going to pull through all loops. Then we're going to chain three. Go into the next stitch, make three double crochet cluster. First one, the second, and we need one more. Then we're going to pull through all loops, then we're going to chain three. So you're going to continue like this until you have eight double crochet cluster. So I'm come to the end, I'm going to chain 3 and then we're going to slip stitch into the first double crochet cluster. Now guys we're going to cut the yarn and we're going to bring the second color. And we're going to go in one of the double crochet cluster that we did and we're going to bring the yarn. we're going to chain one into the same stitch you're going to do one single crochet this chain one doesn't count as a stitch now into three chain space you're going to do three single crochet one two and three then into the double crochet cluster you're going to do one single crochet Again, into the three chain space, you're gonna do three single crochet one, two, three. Into the double crochet cluster, you're gonna do one single crochet. So, one, I'm, I need to hide also these threads here. So, one, two, 
three. Again into the double crochet cluster, one single crochet, into chain three space, three single crochet, one, two, and three. So this is the way that we're gonna repeat until the end. One single crochet into the double crochet cluster, three single crochet into the three chain space. So I come to the end and we're gonna do a slip stitch into the first slip single crochet and then we're gonna chain one. Into the same stitch you're gonna do one single crochet then we're gonna do two single crochet into the next two stitches one and two so we have three single crochet into the next we're gonna do two single crochet into the same stitch that means one increase again one single crochet into the next three stitches one two three then one increase that means two single crochet into the same <coughs> stitch Again, one single crochet into the next three stitches, one, two, three, then we're gonna do again one increase. That means two single crochet into the same stitch. Again, one single crochet into the next three stitches, one, two, three, two single crochet into the next one. So we're gonna keep repeating this until the end. So I come to the end and I will do a slip stitch into the first single crochet then we're gonna cut the yarn. Now we're gonna bring the first color and you're gonna see where you have the double crochet cluster is here. You're gonna go one stitch like here and then you're gonna insert your hook and you're gonna bring your new the first color chain one into the same stitch you're gonna do one single crochet. Now we're going to do a front post double crochet over this uh, cluster like this. Pull through two loops, pull through two loops. Now we're going to go into the back as you can see here is our last stitch. We're going to skip one and we're going to go into the next and we're going to do four single crochet. One, two, three and four. Again, we're going to do one front post double crochet over the cluster like this. Pull through two loops, pull through two loops. Again, in the back where you have your last stitch, you're going to skip one. You're going to skip one and you're going to go into the next and you're going to work four single crochet. One, two, three and four. Again we're gonna go where we have the double crochet cluster and we're gonna do one front post double crochet. Into the back you're gonna see where you have your last stitch then you're gonna skip one you're gonna go into the next and you're gonna do one single crochet then you're gonna do one single crochet into the next three stitches. So in between the double uh, front post double crochet we need to have four stitches Again, you're going to do one front post double crochet over the cluster like this. You're going to go into the back and you're going to see where you have your last stitch. Then you're going to skip one, skip one, one single crochet into the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. So guys, we're going to continue like this until the end. One front post double crochet, four single crochet. So guys, I come to the end. Uh, when we first start, we start with one single crochet, one front post double crochet. Now we need to finish with three single crochet. So one, two, three. Then we're going to do a slip stitch into the first single crochet. And again, we're gonna cut, we're gonna chain one and we're gonna cut our yarn and we're gonna bring the second color. Now, where we have, we're gonna bring the second color and where we have this front post double crochet, 
we're gonna insert the crochet hook like this as you seen in the video and we're gonna do we're gonna take our yarn and then we're gonna chain one and this will be our first stitch so we're gonna work one back post single crochet in every stitch until the end so you're gonna insert the crochet hook like this yarn over and do a single crochet so this is a front uh, back post single crochet sorry guys again insert the hook like this yarn over and do a single crochet again insert the hook like this yarn over and do a single crochet so we're gonna work back post single crochet until the end of the row So we're going to continue like this until the end, one front post single crochet in every stitch. So guys, I finished the row and we're going to do a slip stitch into the first stitch. Then we're going to chain one into the same stitch, you're going to do one single crochet. Then we're going to do then we're going to do one single crochet into the next three stitches one two three into the next stitch you're going to do two single crochet into the same stitch so that means an increase again one single crochet into the next four stitches one two three and four then into the next you're going to make an increase two single crochet into the same stitch Again, one single crochet into the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. Then you're gonna make an increase, two single crochet into the same stitch. So we're gonna work like this until the end, until you reach your last stitch. So guys, I come to the end and we have one more stitch in that last stitch we need to do one increase that means two single crochet into the same stitch then we're gonna do a slip stitch into the first stitch now we're gonna chain one into the same stitch we're gonna do one single crochet then we're gonna do one single crochet into the next four stitches one two three and four then we're gonna do one front post double crochet through the previous front post double crochet as you can see here now we're gonna go into the back and we're gonna see where we have our last stitch so here is our last stitch you're gonna skip one and you're gonna go into the next and you're gonna do five single crochet one single crochet into the next five stitches two three four and five once you have your five single crochet again you're going to do one from both double crochet and again we're going to go into the back where you have your last stitch you're going to skip the next and we're going to work into the next one again we're going to do five single crochet two three four and five then again one front post double crochet in the previous front post double crochet you're going to go into the back skip one go into the next and work one single crochet into the next five stitches so we're going to work like this until the end at the end we need to have eight front post double crochet and in between we need to have five stitches so guys i finish and we're going to do a slip stitch into the first stitch 
and then we're going to chain one and we're going to cut the yarn. So guys, now we're gonna bring the first color and we're gonna insert the hook into the previous front post double crochet. We're gonna chain one and into the same stitch you're gonna do one single crochet. This is the first stitch. Then we're gonna do another six single crochet until we reach the next front post double crochet. Three, four, five, six, seven so we have seven single crochet chain three we're gonna skip one two into the third you're gonna do one double crochet chain three one two three into the same stitch another double crochet chain three one two three we're gonna go where we have the front post double crochet. We're gonna do a single crochet. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we make a corner. Now we're gonna chain three. One, two, three. We're gonna skip two and we're gonna go into the third stitch and we're gonna do a double crochet, chain three, into the same stitch another double crochet, chain three, and we're gonna go where we have the front post double crochet and we're gonna do a single crochet there. We're gonna do six more single crochet, two, three, four, five, six, and we have one more, seven, so we have seven single crochet, chain three, into the third stitch you're going to do a double crochet, chain three, another double crochet into the same stitch, chain three, you're gonna do a single crochet while you have your front post double crochet. Then you're gonna do six more, a total of seven. Three, four, five, six, and seven. And we need to do one more corner. We have three, chain three. Skip two, go into the third stitch, do a double crochet chain three another double crochet into the same stitch chain three and we're gonna do a slip stitch into the first single crochet so guys as you can see we have four corners now we're gonna chain one and into the same stitch you're gonna do one single crochet then you're gonna do six more single crochet, a total of seven. So two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Where you have your chain three space, you're gonna do three single crochet there. One, two, and three. Into the corner, you're gonna do three single crochet. One two three then we're gonna chain one two three into the same corner another three single crochet one two and three then again into the chain three space three single crochet one two and three then again we're gonna do seven single crochet one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Again, to the chain three space, you're going to do three single crochet. One, two, three, four, 
three into the corner you're gonna do three single crochet one two three chain three one two three and again another three single crochet into the corner two three into the chain space you're gonna do three single crochet two and three then again you're gonna do seven single crochet and the same you're gonna do on this part so guys i finished the row and i do a slip stitch into the first stitch now we're gonna start on the last row we're gonna chain four this count is one double crochet plus chain one skip one go into the next and do a double crochet chain one skip one one 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 we're gonna go into the corner we're gonna do one double crochet chain three one double crochet into the corner chain one now we're gonna skip one one double crochet chain one skip one one double crochet so this is the way that we're gonna keep repeating until the end don't forget that in the corner you're gonna do one double crochet chain three one double crochet So guys I come to the end I did the chain one and I'm gonna do a slip stitch into the third chain. I'm gonna chain one and you're gonna cut the yarn and our granny square is ready. So I did another piece with a bigger yarn I'm gonna show you right now to see how it looks and this is how it looks. So guys, this was the tutorial for today. I hope you like it. We're going to see each other on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Take care. Bye-bye.